Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to my talk about code review, alternatively best practices, tips, and how to not drive your colleagues into depression with your comments. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm pretty sure that most of you know what exactly is code review, but just to reiterate uh, on what exactly we're talking about here, uh, code review is just review of codes written by other colleagues. It's as simple as that. Other colleagues write uh, changes to the code, they publish them, they suggest these changes, and then we comment on these changes. Or we just approve without comments, depending on whether we like the code or not. Do we even need code review, actually? Or why do we need it? Because, well, developers could be doing something else, right? Instead of arguing comments, checking other people's code, they could be already spending time on writing new features. So maybe we don't need it at all? Well, first of all, more eyes on code mean, means more chances to catch potential bugs or things like privacy and security issues, right? It's like additional layer of testing, if you may. If we don't catch those on time uh, and we actually release the code, uh, it may result in potential production downtime, it may result in regulator problems, or even ruined customer trust. So from this point of view, we are interested in catching bugs as early as possible, which means maybe during the review stage. Alternatively, code review can also mean uh, sharing best practices within the project or even the company. Uh, one one uh, programmer can comment on something, suggest another approach which is used, and this ensures that another developer or a group of developers uh, know the code styles and this can even actually help developers progress professionally if they get some comments and about an approach, for example, which they hadn't known before. Finally, code review can stop uh, the unintended workflows. Uh, for example, usually one developer should not be able to uh, push to production uh, unverified changes, and code review may act as a security layer. Um, if someone tries to do something bad intentionally or unintentionally, Hopefully, Code Review may just add a little bit more confidence that uh, this will be caught early. So now let's talk a little bit about best practices, which I think are appropriate in Code Review. Uh, first of all, regarding a detailed review, if you want to really focus and you want to make sure that you know and you go thoroughly through authors' changes, it may be helpful to check out the author's branch locally on your machine and then examine each individual file. Um, I'm saying this because locally you will usually have your favorite code editor, which can help you identify syntax errors, and also you can navigate quickly between files to see the connections. And all of that may really help you maintain the context during code review. Also, sometimes, for example, when I need to really attentively review the code, I book a slot in my calendar, I put on headphones. Basically, I try to ensure that there are no distractions so that I could really familiarize myself with the context and stay focused. As opposed to that, sometimes it makes sense to review just syntax and obvious uh, syntax bugs without getting into the whole business logic. I would say this is appropriate if you get multiple merge requests per day, and then you may just not have the time to actually go through each of the merge requests individually, checking them out, as I discussed earlier. Uh, just I would say that make sure that the author knows that you are not uh, reviewing the deep logic, the business logic, but you are mostly reviewing only syntax. Now, one of my favorite suggestions is really, really adapt your comment style. For example, uh, some comment like this may be appropriate for a more junior person or the person who has been working in your project recently, or just a sensitive person overall. Like It's a very polite suggestion that, hey, can you please remove uh, this serializable term? It would, and then I explain the reason, like why it was it needed and then why it is not needed. So you try to be very polite, you give all the context and just basically uh, make sure that the uh, person is on board with you and doesn't feel anything, any bad things. Um, however, if someone is more senior, experienced, or you just know they will understand exactly what you are saying, you can just write something that's not needed. And it will be a pointer for them that this is not needed and they will remove it. And maybe they already have the context or they will ask you for the context if they need to. But 
sometimes this is enough. So this is up to you to understand which type of person or which type of style best fits in the given situation. Beware of emotional damage. Uh, really, if you put too many comments, uh, I understand we want to comment on everything sometimes. There are so many things which can be done differently, but it still can be overwhelming, even for very experienced developers. Like speaking of my experience, I have more than 10 years and still when I uh, receive a review with like, I don't know, 10 comments or more, my first reaction is to, I don't know, to try to protect myself, to try to respond back and so on. Um, so I would say try keeping only the most significant ones and maybe move the rest of line if you really think that you should write more, that your, your code review doesn't have enough space for all of your comments. Um, because the, the goal is eventually to encourage positive approach and to, uh, to be productive. And the developer may risk in not being productive if they receive too many comments. So yeah, try keeping just the most significant ones. And if you still need to put more, just move the rest of line. When you like something, please write, write about it as well. We don't only need to comment on whatever needs to be changed. Well, mostly, yes, that's what we do. But also, it's so nice to feel a little bit of gratitude, right? Like, you can write very tiny comments like, I like this, or thank you, great job. And as you see, uh, I get hearts for these comments. So it's it may it may make a developer smile. It may make uh, bring up their mood. And happy developer means, after all, more productive developer, right? And also, with a happy developer, it's more pleasant to work. And we may enjoy that more. So yeah, please try to not always be negative. Try to also emphasize on the good things which you see. Also, I would say don't argue back and forth in comments. Um, Again, it's kind of the same as when you leave too many comments. People tend to get protective, and especially because it's a public space, code review is a public space, which can be usually viewed by many developers, they might get the feeling of being publicly attacked. Yes, ideally, if we were all logical machines, we would just only uh, consume the logic of your comment. We would never actually, I don't know, emotionally react, but the reality is that we are not. We are all people, we all have our own issues, uh, you never know which issues are there. So maybe you could help preventing any triggers by just following uh, these tips. Like, for example, it doesn't make sense to argue back and forth. If you wrote a comment and then developer replies and doesn't agree, and then you write back and then developer writes back, it eventually becomes a, a battle of egos, like whose comments is going to be the last, who is going to win. I would say if that's not the goal, if the goal is to actually resolve the issue, just move the conversation offline, right? If you see that the developer doesn't agree, um, okay, what is your goal here? Uh, do you still want to push for that? If yes, sure, just maybe code review is not the best place anymore to, to push for it. Maybe you just move to Slack channel or move to uh, oral conversation or just speak any other way of talking. Um, just one thing to add here, I would say that if you do this and eventually they should get resolved offline, in the code review, you could make a comment that something like discussed offline or resolved offline. Um, so that if other developers come back there and they see that you had kind of disagreement and they, they don't know what was the result, at least they could see that, hey, it was discussed offline. So if they really are interested in, not, in knowing whatever happened in the end, they can actually find you and ask you what was the outcome. And that is all for me. Thank you very much for attending this uh, lightning talk. Uh, I really appreciate this. I wish you all very happy coding, very nice review comments. And yeah, just uh, wishing you to be very uh, relaxed and productive during your work days.